Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Welcome everybody. Dear students, I am back again with new lesson today. I myself take some initiatives to take your class through online. I think this is very much helpful for you in this critical situation. However, this is Ibn Hassan Tushar, Assistant Teacher English, Ronald Client College, Kishorians, Nilvangadi. So, students, for the preparation of class, you all your please take your notebook pen etc and you must share the class on your timeline timeline for your friends so that it can be a bigger virtual class i think so dear students i write here two sentences that you can see here I write on the table and go to bed. I know you all you are already right or read or know clearly about the parts of speech. So and I write here two sentences and underline on the table one and go to bed go two those two words are which parts of his fish okay you're right this a two is under preposition we know these two words are preposition so can you guess what is a two days topic? Okay, thank you. Two days topic is preposition. So two days topic is preposition. We learn about preposition today. You know, preposition is a big us big topic we know so I try to learn try to deliver the class about preposition in three parts so now I would like to discuss about part one of the topic preposition dear students like every lesson we have some learning outcomes that we will try to fulfill in a class time so have look at the screen for the learning outcomes so dear students there are many problems of prepositions, you know. We must recover it or solve it. However, problems. Now, I would like to discuss about some problems on some important preposition. So, attention please and this may note in your notebook. So get starts the discuss about the problems with preposition. Okay, get ready. Dear students, now I am going to the class part two of preposition. 
preposition part 2 in the previous class we learn about the prepositions and we learn about some prepositions uses and we try to practice it in some exercise by some exercise hopefully you understand and it will also help you to overcome the barriers of prepositions now i would like to go in the part 2 discussion on preposition okay actually prepositions are words or phrases that clarify relationships a preposition link nouns pronouns and phrases to other words in a sentence prepositions are also used in idioms that we discuss in the pre previous classes okay now i would like to discuss about problem noun one and here i try to discuss about between and among between and among dear students remember that between and among have the same meaning tar mane ekoi ortho between among among er ortho ekoi but between is used two nouns and among is used with three or more nouns or a plural nouns i repeat between and among have same meaning but between is used with two nouns and among is used with more than two or three or more nouns or a plural nouns hopefully you understand then so avoid using between with three or more nouns or plural noun between means two and among means more than two okay between means two noun and among means three or more nouns i repeat between means two nouns and among means three or more nouns we never use between when three or more nouns are used in any sentences we never use among when one or two nouns are used in any sentences so i think this is the problem and this may confusing you you should see us about when you use between and among i repeat between is used before when two nouns are connected in a sentence and among is used when three or more than or a plural nouns are used in any sentences hopefully you understand okay i write here two example the work is distributed between rohim and korim here we can see rohim is a noun and korim also is another noun and we use between here we use between between is used when two nouns are connected with each other okay and the next sentence is books were given amongst shipul azat and lipi here shipul number noun number 1 azat is noun number 
and the leaf is noun number three. And when three nouns are used in a sentence, uh, sentence, we can use among. Dear students, it is we may sometimes is fall in confusing when we use between and among. Hopefully, you understand. And finally, I repeat for your facilities, addition please, when between means two num and among means three or more, when we use two noun in a sentence, we use between and when we use three or more nouns in a sentence, when, then we use among. Though the meaning of between and among are same, so be careful to use between and among. And I hope you understand it easily. Okay, dear students, now I'm going to discuss about in, on, at. In, on, and at. Here, in, on, and at are used before the places, before the time also. They can use by the two system or two part, two time. Hey, it can use before the places also. It can use before that time also. I again say in one and out are used before the time and place. Before the time and place. Okay, hopefully you understand it. Now I would like to discuss about in one and out. I right here I discuss the place first I write here we live in the USA on the East Coast at 2600 River Road okay dear students remember that in on and add have similar meaning I repeat, in one and add have similar meaning, but they are used with different kinds of places. Similar meaning, but they use different kinds of places. Okay, in general, we can say, in is used before large places. One is used before middle size places and add is used before numbers in address. I repeat, in is used before large places, one is used before middle size places and add is used before numbers in addresses. I give you example here we live in the USA we know USA is a big places or a large places United States of America on the East Coast here East Coast is smaller than USA East Coast East Cast is also a place under USA. USA is large place and East Coast is a small place than USA. So we can use in before the large place like USA and we can use East Cast. We can use one before East Cast because it is smaller than USA. Okay, and 
Then at 2600 River Road, 2600 River Road, we can see here the number is addresses. When numbers is in addresses are used in any sentences, we use at. Hopefully you understand. We live in the USA on the east coast at 2600 River Road. Okay, the next discussion is time in on at when we use in on at as the time then we can say dear students remember please in on and at have similar meaning we know but they are used different times in general in is used large unit of times on is used before middle middle sized unit of times and at is used before numbers in clock time i repeat in is used large unit of times one is used before middle sized unit of times and at is used before numbers in clock times I give already write example in the board. Look at the board, please. Rohim was born in 2004 on Sunday at 7 p.m. What can you see in the sentence? Born in its year. It is big time, you know. Sunday, it is day. We know everybody, it is smaller than year, day is smaller than year, and 7 p.m. It is definite time. So, definite time, time, so we defined, we classified or categorized in one act so easily when we can when we use in on and at in any sentences so er when we use big time we can use in when we define or when we, when we modify a smaller time we use on and when we use numbers in clock time 7 pm we know it is close number of clock times then we use at dear students hopefully you understand about the problems of in on and at okay dear students now we are in the problem number three attention please here i write Besides and besides. Besides and besides. Though only besides and besides depends in only A's. Only A's. It's so confusing, so we should have we have we should have clear concept about besides and beside. Besides, when we add is it meaning betito sara betito or sara and when we can use we don't use s it it they may carry the meaning in bangla that is parse parse besides betito among beside parse Sometimes I use Bangla for your understand. So, 
you should have the clear concept and you should have the full attention in my lecture besides when you use as it mean betito and beside when you don't find as in the word beside it mean pase so it's so easy though it's confusing but so easy we should have memorized so easily besides or motor bike we have two cars besides our motor bike we have two cars that mean in bangla duta duto car sarao amader ekta motor bike ache duto car sarao ba dui ti car sarao amader ekti motor bike ache besides our motor bike we have two cars and the next is we said beside our parents pashe that means pashe amar pita matar pashe boshe achi amra amader pita matar pashe amra boshe achi besides mean betito and beside mean pashe i repeat besides our motor bike we have two cars দুটো কার ছাড়াও আমাদের একটা মোটর বাইক আছে উই স্যাড বিসাইড অর প্যারেন্টস আমরা আমাদের পিতা মাতার পাশে বসে আছি ডিফেন্স ইজ ইন দ্য এজ অনলি এজ অনলি এজ হোয়েন ইউ ফাইন্ড এজ দেন ইট মিন ব্যথিত হোয়েন উই ডোন্ট ফাইন্ড এজ ইট মিনস পাশে সো হোপফুলি ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড or you have clear concept about besides and beside homeworks dear students now i would like to give you homeworks please try to solve the homeworks at your home so have a look at the screen for your today's homeworks so this is the end of the class today as to with us continue your study and give as the valuable comments for our inspiration thank you very much